against Mayorga without warning early in the fight and had either of the two trips to the canvas by Corey Spinks that were ruled slips been ruled a knockdown, it would have been Mayorga who wound up the winner on the scorecards rather than the other way around. Since then, a fight against Eric Mitchell at the middleweight limit of 160 pounds, and in that fight, Mayorga was not as devastating a power puncher as had been the case at 147. So that's certainly part of the question tonight. What happens now at the 160 pound weight limit for the man who was such a devastating puncher at 147? Roy, do you think it'll make a big difference? No, I don't. The only thing that may be different is his conditioning, but I don't think it'll make much difference. The real problem he has is, can he deal with Tito's puncher power? And what about Tito coming back from a two and a half year layoff, Larry? Well, there are a lot of factors involved in a comeback. We have to, one of the big ones is he was 29, only 29, when he retired. Uh, I can't recall anything in modern times to uh, uh, parallel that when a fighter who is an elite fighter, a big crowd uh, attraction, would retire of his own accord. All right. Bob Costas champing at the bit now after having had his appetite whetted by that long tape package. Bob, <laughs> there's Felix warming up. What do you think? Well, Jim, I think we ought to take this opportunity with the fight only a few minutes away to look back at some of the buildup and some of the antagonisms that have been displayed over the last few months in anticipation of this fight. Let's go back to a press conference in May in Las Vegas. And they're at one another. At one point, Trinidad called Mayorga a woman. Mayorga referred to Trinidad as a clown. Mayorga has a long history of challenging the manhood of his opponents, trying to get under their skin and get them to brawl with him rather than fight a more tactical fight. Later, it's Mayorga predicting a ninth round KO. That's been the round in the recent past. De La Hoya and Roy Jones Jr. each fell in the ninth recently. Now the side bet. $100,000 being bet on the outcome from the purse of the loser to the winner, $100,000. Trinidad will make $10 million for this fight. Mayorga is guaranteed $2.5 million. The betting line has Trinidad as a 2.5 to 1 favorite. At the weigh-in, Trinidad scaled 157 and 3 quarters to Mayorga's 158. So after a two and a half year layoff, Tito Trinidad is just minutes away from stepping into the ring against Ricardo Mayorga. And just a few moments ago, he spoke with Larry Merchant. Here it is. Tito, how much did you miss the cheers of the crowd when you were away? And what will it mean to you walking out into the garden again tonight? Tito, ¿cuánto tú esto te hizo falta la adulación del público y y cuánto significará eso para ti hoy en día? Bueno, de, de verdad que eh, tener el público conmigo aquí, mucha gente, de, de verdad que eso es bien emocionante y, y gracias a todo el público por estar aquí conmigo hoy en día de hoy, en mi regreso. Having the public behind you, it's great. And I want to thank the public for being uh, here for my return. Can it be a burden as well as an inspiration to have so many of your countrymen behind you so fervently? No puede ser un contra en teniendo a tantas personas detrás de ti que quieren tanto en vez de una bendición. No, yo creo que eso es una bendición, es algo que, que, que muchos quisieran que, que el público esté con ellos todo el tiempo. No, 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 no. Es una bendición porque todos would love to have that. After being away from boxing for so long, how does it feel at this moment knowing that soon you're going to be back in the ring again? Después de tanto tiempo fuera del ring, ¿cómo se siente sabiendo que en eh, breves minutos vas a estar otra vez en el ring? No, me siento bien, me siento tranquilo por, por todo el trabajo duro que he hecho en el gimnasio y, y ya mismo me verán en acción. It feels real good and I've done a lot of work and, and you'll see real soon what it's all about. Can you take his punch? Can he take your punch? ¿Tú crees que tú puedes aguantar el poderío de él y podrá él aguantar el poderío tuyo? Él no podrá aguantar mi poderío. He won't be able to take my power. I'll take his. Thank you, Tito. Good luck. Jim? All right, and thank you, Larry. New York City, the focus of the boxing world tonight. A shot of the Chrysler building in the foreground.
Larry Merchant moving across to the other dressing room to speak with Ricardo Mayorga. You will notice right away that Mayorga is now a redhead, or maybe it's something closer to fuchsia. In the past, he has occasionally bleached his hair blonde. He told us yesterday that uh, going as a redhead for this fight is something of a tribute to his mom, who colored her hair in the same fashion. And we'll leave the rest to Larry Merchant. Here he is with Mayorga. Ricardo, the last time you fought, you were a blonde. Now you were a redhead. Why? La última vez que peleaste fuiste rubio. Ahora es pelirrojo. ¿Por qué? Tengo que variar mi mi gusto. I got to be different. You know, my tastes are different, so I got to be different. Early in the week, you were saying you would knock him out in the ninth round. And then later, I read you said the fifth round and then the third round. What do you say tonight? Hemos escuchado diferentes versiones que tú vas a noquear en el noveno. En el quinto asalto y ahora el tercer asalto. No. ¿A qué se debe? Con función de, de, de que la gente es la que le pone tanto, tantas versiones, en verdad. Voy a no quedar del quinto para del primero al quinto. You know, that's different versions that people, you know, play around with my predictions. But my prediction now is that between the first and the fifth round, I'm going to knock him out. Can you take his punch? Can he take your punch? ¿Tú puedes aguantar el golpe de él? O, ¿Y también él puede aguantar el golpe tuyo? Yo puedo aguantar el, el mío, no. I can take his punch. He can't take mine. Thank you very much. Good luck. Gracias y mucha suerte. Jim? All right, Larry, thanks again. So when Tito Trinidad said farewell to boxing in 2002, it seemed unlikely his sentiments were permanent. After all, Tito was just 29 years old, a decorated welterweight champion, and a hero, a huge hero, in his native Puerto Rico. But he also seemed physically battered and emotionally drained by his loss to middleweight champ Bernard Hopkins and fought only once more before stepping aside. So it's taken a couple of years, but Trinidad now says he's re-energized and ready to face the top fighters in the world, starting tonight. Felix Trinidad is back. But after 29 months away from the ring, is he the same Tito we remember? The pride of Puerto Rico stands on top of the boxing world. Trinidad's unrelenting, lead-fisted aggression produced spectacular knockouts of Fernando Vargas and William Joppe. Sensational performance by the greatest finisher in the sport. And hard-fought decisions over Pernell Whitaker and Oscar De La Hoya. De Puerto Rico! But a devastating loss to Bernard Hopkins led to retirement and now raises questions about how much of the old Tito remains. The swift, violent answers come tonight as Trinidad returns not by taking a tune-up fight, but by facing a truly explosive and highly unpredictable former champion. If you want to see street fighting, you are a Ricardo Mayorga fan. Smoking slugger Ricardo Mayorga dethroned Vernon Forrest. And Ricardo Mayorga has done it. Only to be outboxed by Corey Spinks. But it's Mayorga's behavior out of the ring that's most strange and troubling. He was so overweight for his last fight, it had to be rescheduled in a different weight class. Mayorga nearly started a brawl when tonight's fight was announced. And next week, he's due back in a Nicaraguan court to face rape charges filed last month. They each rank as among the most crowd-pleasing destroyers of the last decade. Every punch is thrown with knock you into next week conviction. But what happens when they step into the ring together? And which versions of Felix Trinidad and Ricardo Mayorga will show up tonight? We find out next. It's been 873 days since Felix Trinidad fought and beat Hasim Sharifi and then quit boxing. Few expected his return bout would be against an opponent any more difficult than Sharifi, but that's not the Trinidad plan. Instead, he goes right to the top of the Madison Square Garden marquee. The comeback plan starts with Ricardo Mayorga. El Matador is best known for his wins against Andrew Sixheads Lewis and his pair of victories against Vernon Forrest in winning the welterweight title. Tonight is a comeback of sorts for Mayorga as well, having lost that title by decision to Corey Spinks 10 months ago. First fight at middleweight for Ricardo Mayorga. You rather suspect that Mayorga, for the right money under the right circumstances, would happily fight at heavyweight. 
If ever there was a guy who didn't much care about the niceties and technicalities of the sport, this is probably him. Just let me go in there and hit somebody. He don't care who it is, what way it is, how long he's been off, how long they've been off. He's just here to fight. He don't care. My kind of fighter. Mayorga plays a confidence game. He puts his cards on the table. I'm here to fight. I'm here to swing away. What about you? What about the difficulty of fighting your fight, Larry, against a guy like this? He makes your fight his fight. Unless you're the kind of fighter, fighter that Corey Spinks was, and since Trinidad is not a mover, he will be happily happy to be there and try to take shots at the openings he's presented. Not a lot of Nicaraguan fans here in the arena, but certainly many of Trinidad's Puerto Rican fans can appreciate and love the way Mayorga fights. This is what Mayorga loves. He loves to be out here and be Mr. Bad Guy, the one that everybody hates. This is right down his alley. He was the black hat in both fights against Vernon Forrest. And we showed you the loss to the boxer, Corey Spinks. Spinks is here tonight. But he's sitting in about the fourth row, so he can't bedevil Mayorga with his boxing style anymore. And you hear the chant of the Puerto Rican crowd in Madison Square Garden. Here comes their man. behind him and that is one of the best things we can have in this sport. Anytime somebody comes to a game with a, an entire country behind him, it makes it very, very difficult for him to also take a step backwards. Notable wins. Five times he knocked Fernando Vargas down, but Vargas is one of several fighters to have knocked Trinidad down. He's tasted the canvas eight different times in his career, as opposed to Mayorga, who insists to us, and whose record apparently shows, that he's never been knocked down. Was Trinidad ever knocked out? Yes, TKO by Hopkins in the 12th. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer to move the pageant forward. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, official weight, 158 pounds, professional record, 26 victories, including 22 knockouts, with four defeats and one draw. Thomas y Caballeros de Managua, Nicaragua, the former overweight champion of the world, Ricardo El Matador Mayorga. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing burgundy, official weight, 
157 and three quarter pounds. Professional record. 31 victories, including 34 knockouts, with only one defeat. He is the former welterweight, former super welterweight, and former middleweight champion of the world, Thomas y Caballeros de Cupe Alto Puerto Rico. Delaware right. versus Hopkins didn't live up to its hype as the second coming of Hagler versus Leonard. This one might have a better chance of being a facsimile of Hagler versus Hearns. It has taken quite some time to clear the ring, and because of all the pageantry, a great deal of time since the fighters entered the ring. In fact, Roy Jones, Ricardo Mayorga, has been in the ring for 14 minutes now before the first bell sounds. Could that be disruptive to him? No, it won't bother him. You gotta know that he's this type of guy. He's the one guy who will be ready for anything that happens tonight. He landed a right hand over the top against Trinidad. Second right hand was a glancing blow. Trinidad hasn't really gotten off on offense. Mayorga is swinging already. Third right hand in a row. Left hook. Mayorga doesn't bother with jabs all that often. Although as the fight goes on, he'll throw some of them just to change the pace. But in round one, he likes to let you know that he's swinging for the fences. And he wants you to know that he's knocking out, but Trinidad would be very smart to use his jab early so they can see some of the things that Mayorga's trying to do to him. Tito has a long history of being unsteady on his feet early. As we mentioned, he's been knocked down eight times in his career. Most of them were quick knockdowns in early rounds against lesser opponents, after which he got up and knocked the guy out. Here, he looks particularly unsteady on his feet. Mayorga doing most of the throwing. Felix doing some defending, but some catching. Two body shots for Mayorga. Right hand over the top, and another. Trinidad just trying to get out of the first round and survive Mayorga's onslaught for the moment. Now Felix offers a left hand, taking advantage of a counterpunch opportunity. Mayorga looks as though he's just gonna keep on coming. Oh, he is. He's definitely gonna keep coming. Good right hand by Tito. Hard right hand lands on the button. Tito managed to take it. There's another one. What about the impact of Mayorga's punches, Roy? They are definitely having a, an effect, but this is his first time at Middleway, so. Now he takes Trinidad's left hook. And this is a Mayorga tactic. He drops his hands and says, come on, hit me. Did it with Forrest, does it here with Tito Trinidad. He also told us it was a trick because when you can see the punches coming, you can take it. Trinidad lands a straight right hand. And another right hand. And now Trinidad with the uppercut. Brings the left hook. Jab. Picks off Mayorga with another right hand. And now it's Mayorga who's taking the punishment. Mayorga's tired. He don't care to wait as good as he does the rest of the business. If Tito is waiting for Mayorga to tire, it's an effective piece of tactics 
as he wobbles Mayorga down the stretch of round one. Mayorga didn't look good on his feet as the round came to a close. <laughs> Did anybody say Hadler Hearns? I think so. <laughs> I think Bernard Hopkins made that point. Dominating almost the entire first round. At the end of the round, Trinidad got in his licks. Who has the psychological advantage after round one, Roy? Trinidad does, mainly because, like I said, this guy doesn't seem to take the same punch as a middleweight as he did as a welterweight. He doesn't seem like he's in shape when he fights that middleweight. He never breathed this hard during his earlier fights at Welterweight. Trinidad was devastatingly accurate down the stretch of round one. Wound up landing 29 out of 55 punches in the round. 25 of those 29 connects in the last minute of the round. Mayorga was 19 out of 84. Interesting round to score. Now Mayorga is bleeding at the nose, so this is definitely a confidence killer. And Trinidad is finding the target with his left hook. So Mayorga goes to his left hook. Body, then upstairs. Perfect counter left hand by Trinidad, right up the pike. Mayorga lands his left twice. Missed over the top with the right. Hard right hand by Trinidad. This time Mayorga takes it. Comes back with his own. And Trinidad come back with his own right hand. Two hard right hands landed by Trinidad. Mayorga seems to be getting his sea legs under him with regard to taking Trinidad's punch. We're only halfway through round two, and already both fighters have taken several big power shots from their opponents. There's a big left hook by Trinidad. Mayorga reaching with the right hand. Now he gets closer to throw the right. And two solid shots from Tito. He won't keep taking these from Tito, I guarantee you. After an unsteady first half of round one, Felix Trinidad clearly has warmed to the task. He's finding the target, countering effectively, picking his spots landing when he wants to against Ricardo Mayorga. Mayorga's landing some big shots in return. But Mayorga's definitely tired. If Tito beat his body a little bit, he'd definitely do better off in this fight. Mayorga lands twice, the left and the right. Trinidad seems able to take Mayorga's punches now. Straight right, right hand. hand. And another. And another. Mayorga dropping his hands. Trinidad just firing away. Big left hand by Mayorga. Big right, right hand, hand by, by Trinidad and the left. So far, it is indeed the Hagler Hearns of the new millennium. Let's see what happens in round three. A remarkable round for Trinidad after such a long layoff to be able to stay in there at that pace. The jab, Tito. Yeah, you, you got him. You tear, tear him up. Deep breath. You're going to kill him. Hey, you, you gotta use the jab and, and raise your hand. Raise your right hand. Try the uppercut. The left hand, the left uppercut is gonna do it. In the middle with the left uppercut. Felix Trinidad has the superior technique 
And in a rough, tough fight like this, perhaps that will be the difference. And he landed a very good straight right lead in that, in that uh, rollback that you just saw. Very effective punch for him in this fight so far, his straight right hand. And the 36 punches that Trinidad landed by CompuBox count in the second round are the most punches ever landed against Ricardo Mayorga in a single round in any of the fights CompuBox has tracked. Now we go to round three. It's been a furious, vicious, hard-fought first two rounds, both men getting their power shots in. But if Tito Trinidad continues to land 60% of his power shots, as was the case by CompuBox count in round two, it's hard to imagine him losing it. And that was a good jab by Tito. One of the things I'm noticing, because we asked Trinidad whether he had learned anything from the Hopkins fight, and he said, well, two, one or two little changes, is that he's moving a little better from side to side. He used to be able to stand right in front of the opponents because he had such confidence in his power. He's moving just enough to disrupt some of Mayorga's offensive onslaught. But he took that right hand, which landed right down the pipe. And he's taking Mayorga's punches very well now. And he lands a right and a solid left hook. And Mayorga takes those punches and comes right back. Huge left hook by Mayorga. Tito walks right through it. At this moment, it's clear that Trinidad can take Mayorga's power. At least for the moment. Trinidad beginning to jab a little more often, exploring the boundaries of his technical advantage over Mayorga. And he's smart. He's moving around the ring now. Like Larry said, he's not going right after Mayorga. He's is very he's smart. Little movements with the feet. A refinement in Trinidad's game. Huge right oh, hand. Oh, good shot. Trinidad's glove touched oh, the canvas, oh, and there's two. the first knockdown of the fight. Oh, Properly five, ruled. Six, seven, eight, two blocks. Trinidad does not appear to be affected by the punch. Not Let's much at all. Let's see if he'll And if, if Mayorga lost the first two rounds, he may have just evened the fight with that knockdown. Yeah, but Trinidad's calling a good left uppercut coming in, too. Another big right hand. This time, Mayorga misses over the top. Trinidad a little short with the counter. Trinidad is landing his left hand as though it's a laser. Beautifully. Huge right hand coming under by Mayorga. Felix swings and misses with a big left hook. A knockdown in round three for Ricardo Mayorga. That was, that was a slip. Don't worry, that's nothing. How do you feel? Everything fine? Don't jump around so much. Yeah. Come on, stand right in front of him and fight with him. Okay? He's, he's, look, he's looking for the knockout, but he's going to get knocked out. He can't take your punches. He see Mayorga going with a left uppercut and an overhand right over the top, caught Tito clearly on the ear, and it knocked him pretty much off balance, but his glove did test the canvas, so that is considered a knockdown. Once again, he came with an uppercut and an overhand right over the top. It was a shot behind his ear, but since his glove touched the canvas, that is considered a knockdown. Roy, a lot of... Uh, Mayorga's punches are landing on top of the ear, around the head. How much do those punches hurt? Those are very effective punches because you usually don't see them coming, and they just seem to do something really, really bad to your equilibrium. Harold, how do you have it scored through three? Okay, Jim, I think Ricardo Mayorga evened up the fight with the knockdown, even if it wasn't such a great knockdown. 28-28 in rounds two, rounds to one, Felix Trinidad. I thought Trinidad in rounds one and two kept them beautifully at the end of that long reach, just like he's doing now, and have it up. Mayorga ties it up in the third round with the knockdown. Look at the accuracy of Trinidad's straighter, shorter punches. And he's throwing beautiful straight punches tonight. That's his big advantage against Mayorga. In a free-swinging trade in the center of the ring, Felix's punches should get there first. But the big left hook lands for Mayorga. And now he loops another one around the guard. 
Trinidad nearly knocks his head off with yeah. a left hook. Yeah, if Trinidad would just hit his body, he'd finish this fight real quick. Neither fighter throws many body punches. Felix has done it more frequently in the past, but right now he's fighting Mayorga's fight, as almost everybody is tempted to do. Mayorga's dead tired, though. Well, I was about to ask you if maybe Trinidad is getting tired because no. he limited himself to only throwing 13 power punches in round three, a round in which Mayorga threw 43 of them. Felix is boxing more than we might have expected at this point in the fight. Big yeah. left hook by Mayorga. And he's boxing very smartly here. Big uppercut by Trinidad. Boy, Mayorga's got a beard and a half. He's dead tired, Jim. One body shot from Philly could really, really help him out. When a guy has as much power as Trinidad has had over his career, he tends to become a headhunter. That's not bad because he's landing some beautiful head shots tonight, but I mean, he can make it easier on himself, easier on himself if he goes to the body. Is the two and a half year layoff potentially a factor in his not remembering to throw the body shots? No, he wasn't throwing body shots before he laid off. <laughs> All right. Can this fight go on at this pace for how long and who gets affected first? Mayorga will not last as long. All Tito has to do is not get caught by a surprisingly big shot, and he'll stop Mayorga later on in this fight. Mayorga's dead tired. Tito will remember sooner or later to go to the body. And Mayorga already is losing power on his wide swinging shots, while Tito is mustering power on his straighter, shorter punches. And Mayorga does not like this weight either. He, he doesn't fight well. There's a body, body punch. punch, and it hurt Mayorga. I back. told you. And he comes back with an uppercut, but he's Mayorga. dead tired. He's it's, dead tired. It's Mayorga's instinct to fight when he's hurt, and that's why he came out swinging after Felix touched him up with the body punch. This is one of the most amazing fights we've seen in a long time for fighters who are at the elite level of the sport. But as they go to their corners, Roy Jones' observation air. is quite apt. Mayorga yeah. Yeah, was exhausted the, before he sat on the stool. Ricky, come on, champion. Relax. Relax. You gotta relax a little bit more. You, you gotta be able to, to get rid of those punches a little bit. You gotta be a little more relaxed. You gotta use the one, two, and then the left uppercut. And the, the uppercut. Here you see Tito come in the right hand lead, and now he throws the left liver shot, which we wish he'd been throwing earlier. And you can tell that shot hurt Mayorga. He pulled the arm down right to the spot and immediately backed out of the scene. By and large, Roy, isn't it fair to say that body punches will hurt you more than head punches when properly landed? Yes, they will, and they last for a longer period of time. Power shots in round four, according to CompuBox. Trinidad, 20 out of 34. Again, 60%. Mayorga swung away for 52 power shots, but landed 20, 38%. Mayorga's losing a little steam on his punches. Trinidad is still throwing them short and straight. Mayorga's not the same fighter at this weight as he is at 147, without a doubt. But he is game. <laughs> On Trinidad's 34 knockouts in his career, 30 were within five rounds. That's typical of most power punchers who get to their lesser opponents in a hurry. This, this opponent isn't as lesser as many others. <laughs> but he's getting hit a lot. But you don't see Trinidad rushing in trying to finish him, though, because he knows he's dangerous once he's hurt. Great counter right-hand punch by Trinidad, stopping Mayorga in his tracks. Mayorga's starting to back up now. Trinidad now senses that Mayorga is ready to be taken, but Mayorga may have some other ideas. Mayorga's exhaustion marked by the fact that he stood still momentarily against the ropes. Trinidad hit him with two straight right hands. Now they're trading again at center ring. A but Trinidad's activity level is going up, and Mayorga's is coming down. Yeah, because Mayorga's tired. Like I said, he's not the same fighter at middleweight as he is at 47. But if Trinidad goes back to his fight a couple more times, he'll get this fight over here. You get the sense that if Mayorga was knocked down on the canvas, he'd beat the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> Rick! 
Don't He's definitely him. exhausted right now. The steam is about going out of his punches. You wonder when Trinidad's going to go back to the body. He did so much damage with that one left-hand shot. Good, Good left hook upstairs by Trinidad. But for a guy who's been away two and a half years, he is sharp with counter punches. He looks good. Looks very good for two years later. Mayorga backing up, taking straight punches. Trinidad very selective, incredibly accurate. The accuracy with power punches is something amazing to behold. He's ripping Mayorga. Huge left hook. Sure sign that he's taking more punishment than he wants. Ten seconds to go in the round as Trinidad corners his hand and tries to finish. Huge cut under Mayorga's left eye. Oh. 19,000 people on their feet. <laughs> what a fight. Put the doctor in. Give me a doctor. Rain Doctor coming into the corner to look at Mayorga. Take, take some air. Take some air now. Deep breath. You can't be taking those punches. You've got to be a little more safe. Use the one, two. Come on. Make sure you're strong and throw some punches. And here's that left uppercut that Trinidad has been landing all night long. New York, Maryland cannot do nothing with that shot. There's that right hand. Trinidad looks so sharp and crisp with his combinations tonight. I don't know too many fighters who could have stood up to that garage. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a more accurate display of power punching in one round. Felix Trinidad was incredible in round five. And, and he's smiling, and he's flexing his right arm as if to say, I'm the one who's got the power here, and Mayorga is in trouble as we go to the sixth. Big trouble. Ricardo Mayorga has just experienced the roughest round of his career. Trinidad landing the most punches and the most power punches ever landed against Mayorga in a CompuBox track round. And you can see how badly Trinidad has damaged the area under Mayorga's left eye. Good straight right lead by Trinidad. Again, notice how he's using his legs, going from one side of Mayorga to another. Roy, it's, he's really had worked on something in these two and a half years. Yes, he has. Trinidad has weathered the early storm. If Mayorga can continue to stand up under the barrage, the question then becomes, will he get a second wind of some sort? He hammers Trinidad with the right hand. Felix Goodbye, comes back with a big left. That was a good, good trade. Yeah, he'll be gone soon, though. He's dead tired, Jim. There he is. He won't last much longer, I guarantee you. Big left hook by Trinidad. Mayorga really feeling the effects of his punches. Yeah, he won't last much longer. He's really gone now. A he couple five shots to end It looks like almost he can't hold his right hand hot to protect against those left hands. He can't. That body shot got to move. Mayorga has never been on the canvas. Well, he's going tonight. <laughs> He took a TKO in his pro debut, accumulated punishment. That's and he's still standing here, but the accumulation of punishment is ongoing once again. Smoger's thinking about stopping it himself. He's looking at it very close now. Smoger will let a fight go as long as he sees a chance for the fighter taking the punishment, as long as the fighter is fighting back. Smoger will let a fight go about as much as any referee <laughs> we've seen. Oh, that was a body shot of hurt him. Mayorga is saying he got hit on the hip. It looked that way. And yeah. now there's an injury timeout. Trinidad has a long history of low blows. That can help Mayorga because he can take as much as five minutes. That won't help him because he's on the downside of this fight. <laughs>
Is Mayorga acting no, to try to establish the effect of the punch? I don't think he's necessarily acting. I'd like to see the punch again to see if it was low, but it won't happen none because he is in a world of trouble here tonight. And that left eye closing fast. Here's another look. Oh, yeah, there's a low blow. We're on a five-minute clock. We're on a five-minute clock, according to referee Steve Smoger. As Mayorga gets a chance to recover from the low blow. But for Mayorga, I think this hurts his eye, too, because now his eye gets a chance to swell even more. Without the cut man getting a chance to work on it with the end swell. Exactly. The time off would be a lot different if the cut man could be at work. Yeah, the eye just keeps on swelling. I don't think he really wants a lot more, Jim. Uh, he looks discouraged, and you don't often see Ricardo Mayorga with a discouraged look on his face. But he's decided to come back before the five minutes are up. You may have to kill him to beat him. <laughs> well, Tito definitely trying to do that. It looks as though Mayorga is going to make it out around six. But Trinidad now has some extra rest to fuel oh, his good fire shot for the by seven. Good oh, big by left Mayorga. hook by Mayorga. Two right hands. And a body shot. And another right hand. And they trade shots after the bell. I'll tell you what. I'll take them on my war team any day of the week. <laughs> there was a body shot in there that made Trinidad step back for a moment. Take some water. Come on, water. Hey, when, when you go to, yeah, you gotta be first. Yeah. Don't let him take the initiative. You be first. Hey, Tico, the right hand, that's the power. That's it, the straight right hand. That's a good one. We got him now, we hurt him. You got him, sting him real good. Another left uppercut by Tito. It was a grazing shot, but it was one of the same shots, boom, that leads to the left hook. And I think that shot truly hurt me. How can you tell? Again in the because sixth round. <laughs> Again in the sixth round, Trinidad landed more than 60% of his power shots. What an amazing display of accurate power punching so far. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim. Five rounds to one. 58-54, Tito Trinidad. Jim, in that round five, he won it so big. I tell you, if a judge doesn't score that 10-8, I don't know when a judge will ever score a 10-8. So anyway, that'll make up for the knockdown. 58-54, five to one, Trinidad. My argument, arguing that Trinidad's holding him behind his head. Now he lands a big right hand. Another chopping right hand. <laughs> the guy has a heart as big as Nicaragua. Yes, he does. I'll tell you, he definitely could go to war with me any day of the week. Hard right hand by Mayorga. Left hand is blocked. Look at him just firing away. Right when you think he's finished, here he comes. As the left eye closes up, Mayorga opens up again. Why well, do you still think that little break didn't help Mayorga? Uh, I don't know if it helped him or not. I don't think it helped his eye real, but didn't hurt him. No, it didn't hurt him. We can agree there. Well, more and more it appears there are two critical differences in the fight. Trinidad is a far better boxer, and Mayorga might not be a legitimate 160-pound fighter. That's the biggest key factor here tonight. He's not a legitimate 160-pound. But, like he said, for the right money, he'll do anything. He don't care. <laughs> like he, I said, fight, he fights for a living. That's simple. He'll invite Lennox Lewis to come You're back. Exactly right. Oh, oh good body shot. Takes the right oh, hand. Oh, oh. And now Mayaga gets hit on the right side of the body again. And he thought he was going to get a low blow ruling from Smoger, and he didn't get it. And it gives Trinidad a couple free shots. 
And rest assured, my is going to fire back at some point. And he does. You don't like these body shots, though, Joe. I want to watch you there. Oh, what an uppercut. What yeah. a violent uppercut by If he back. thinks he was really hit low, what he should do is hit back low. No, he said he, 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 he got hit in the back, though. He wasn't saying it was low. He said he got hit in the back. All right. Then hit him in the back. You're right. <laughs> Huge left hook by Trinidad. Stuns Mayorga. And now Mayorga is holding on. For dear life. Tito is showing some true condition here himself tonight, Jeff, because he's throwing a lot of big punches, and that takes a lot out of a fighter. What a stunning fight. What an amazing seven rounds of combat. Come up after every round. I think we need him out of here. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, you, you gotta pressure him. And if you have to hit him in the ball, hit him in the ball. Hey, if you hit you in the ball, hit him back in the ball. Yeah, yeah this is not a no playing game. If he hits you in the ball, you hit him back. You gotta be first. It's on his butt cheek, but uh, it's a bad shot, and he can't walk away like that, but it is a bad shot. It was low, and it was on his butt cheek. How painful is it to get hit hard on the hip? Very painful, especially when you're as tired as these guys should be. I would say that, that Trinidad's putting on a remarkable performance, not only in the fact that he seems to be winning the fight, but that he's fighting at this level of intensity after such a long layoff. I think they're... Two remarkable performances going on. Trinidad is landing 60% of his punches, which is astonishing. Mayorga has thrown 512 punches, which is almost equally as astonishing. Trinidad is not wasting much. He's being very economical tonight. All out attack from Mayorga. <laughs> then he steals him a little punch on the leg. Yeah, poke him a little there. <laughs> Just to let him know he's still here. Body shot by Mayorga. Trinidad trying that uppercut, which has been so devastatingly accurate. Four Mayorga hooks by Mayorga. Three left hooks. Four. That was exceptional. It's almost Skill as if me. he's gotten his second win. It does indeed appear that he's gotten his second win. No, 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 no. Break. In this round, for the first time, he's not only out throwing Felix, out landing him. But there, Trinidad stops it with two straight right hands. A good hook. Oh, what oh, a big left hook. There he is. That could be the beginning of the end. That hurt him real Myron bad. not throwing at all. Trinidad looking to finish. Look at Mayorga. Oh. Weathering the storm again. Trinidad hits him flush with an uppercut. Oh, oh that's what a body it. shot. That's what the body a shot. body shot. I told you the body shot would have done it a long time ago. Siete, ocho, nueve. Up with the count of nine. A heart as big as Mexico. I told you. And I told you the body shot would have finished the job a long time ago, Jim. I have no Fred Ricardo Mayorga tries to unload the, the arsenal against Trinidad. Trinidad comes back. Mayorga's on the canvas a second time. Never on the canvas before, twice in this round. Trinidad was all the way up on the top rope in the neutral corner. Now he has to climb back down. I told those body shots would do it, Jim. No pre knockdown rule in effect. Another savage left hook by Trinidad. Mayorga goes down for the third time, and Steve Smoker is going to stop the fight. Very small call. Stop the fight. Sensational knockout. A few seconds before the ninth round. <laughs> Larry, I don't like you keep talking about the ninth round. <laughs> In 
round eight, Felix Trinidad closed the show, landing, are you ready? 39 out of 47 power shots. That's what you call target practice. Knocked down number one. He threw a left hook to the head, he came back, he threw it right up cut, he leaned outside, he saw the body shot, so he's just gonna take it. Right there, boom, good body shot. The shot I've been calling for all night. Knew once he landed that shot, that would be it. Here, Miyorka just hurt from an accumulation of punches and the right hand left hook kind of does the deal, but he's still trying to stay up and he went down from a very short right hand again. Just and then the third time, Miyorka goes down to avoid further punishment. And that was probably enough to convince Smoger that, well, he's had enough. And at this point, I think it was pretty evident that it was over. He was tired. He had no steam on his punches. He was just making it out of the way of the punches. Then boom, there's a right hand and left up a cup again. The left up cup was ferocious tonight. And he just went ahead and went down to avoid further punishment. Is there a harder puncher pound for pound in the sport than Felix Trinidad? I, I really don't think it is. And that would be another exceptional fight for Bernard Hopkins. He said he wants to make a, an impressive 20th defense. Here he goes. Is there a smarter finisher in the sport than Felix Trinidad? There's not a gutsier finisher in the sport than Felix Trinidad. He took a lot of good shots from Ricardo Mayorga and finally got Mayorga to go down three times in the eighth round, the first three times in Ricardo Mayorga's career that he's tasted the canvas and a resounding triumph for Felix Trinidad in his first fight back after a two-and-a-half-year layoff. And he took a big fight, a big chance. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on a sensational fight. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Madison Square Garden, the combat has begun. Referee Steve Smother steps in and calls a halt to this contest at 2 minutes, 39 seconds of round number 8. The winner by knockout victory, Thomas and Caballeros de Cupe Otto Puerto Rico. Felix Pique Renida. Let's take a look at final copy box numbers for one of the most devastating displays of power punching in the recent history of the sport. Felix Trinidad landing 149 more punches, throwing 104 less. Look at the connect percentage. And Mayorga, sure, he's an easy target because his arms are wide and free and he's swinging, but you gotta step up inside of all that to land those punches. Yes, you do, that is for sure. Tito showed tonight what a little bit of rest can do for a good fighter. Look at the power punch statistics. 218 out of 329. This is after a two and a half year layoff against an opponent regarded as maybe the most dangerous opponent Trinidad could possibly have been in against in this situation. He lands 90 more power punches. He throws 62 less, selecting the ones that gave him a chance to land two thirds of his power shots. Virtually incredible. Larry Merchant stands by with Felix Trinidad. Thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations, Tito. Have you ever been in that sort of a long, tough, hard firefight? Estado tú en una pelea así larga y fuerte y difícil. Anterior, he estado en otra pelea tan fuerte como esta. Sí, he estado en peleas anteriores fuertes y gracias a Dios pues. Yeah, I've been in tough long wars before, and uh, but I, I dominated this fight. Were you surprised that he was able to take so many of your big punches? Te sorprendió que él pudo aguantar tantos de los golpes fuertes que tú le dices. Se sabe que es un peleador que aguanta mucho golpe. Se dejó dar de mí y aguantó los golpes, pero fue fue peor para él. We, we know that he, he can take a good punch, and I get him a lot of punch, and he took a lot of my punches, but that was bad for him. Early in the fight, he seemed to be on top of you. Were you de determined to be patient so that your technique 
would prevail. Temprano la pelea, él te fue agresivo y estuvo encima de ti. Tú fuiste paciente para poder esto agarrarlo más más tarde y hacer tal con calma. Sí, ese era el plan de pelea y gracias a Dios, le, le, o sea, yo nos salió bien todo. Mayor que un peleador fuerte. Yeah, that was our plan. We wanted to be cool, calm, and then and, 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 our plan was worked out perfectly. Did he ever hurt you? ¿En alguna vez te, te hirió, te, te dolió? Bueno, en realidad, la única caída, pero creo para mí que no fue caída, pero bueno, se contó y está bien, es válida. Uh, not really, but there was a knockdown, which wasn't really a knockdown, but it was called a knockdown, so it was legit. You hit him many shots right on the head, but it seemed that the one shot you landed in the body was the beginning of the end. Did you see that coming? Tú le muchos golpes en la cabeza, y de todos esos golpes que en la cabeza casi no le hacía nada, pero cuando le pegaste al cuerpo, ese fue el golpe. ¿Sabías tú que lo había dañado en eso? Sí, en realidad, pues, el esquino me envió a que le pegara el cuerpo, y así lo hice. Un peleo lastimado abajo, le das arriba y se acaba. My corner told me to go to the body, and that's what I did, because I know that a body shot will hurt you. It surprised a lot of people that you were able to fight at such an intense pace after a two and a half year layoff. Did you ever feel that this was just sprinting instead of running a marathon, which you have done? Me sorprendió mucha gente que tú pudiste sostener una pelea como la hiciste, pero es como tú esto un atleta que eres que en sprint tú sabías que podías mantener ese ritmo. Sí, sabía que ya podía mantener el ritmo. Y gracias a Dios, a, a, a mi disciplina, puedo hacer lo que hice. Yeah, I, I knew that I can keep that pace up, and thanks to my discipline, I did what I did. Were you a different fighter after two and a half years away than you were when you fought Hopkins, and in what way? Tú, eh, eres tú un peleador diferente después de dos años y medio de tu retiro, de cuando peleaste con Hopkins, y si es así, ¿en qué forma? Bueno, en realidad, pues, practicamos bastante el boxeo, Javier, mover, mover más a los lados. Y soy un peleador completo. Difere, we diferente y completo. We, we practiced a lot. We, we went for the techniques, the bobbing and weaving, moving side to side. I'm a complete fighter. Who does this complete fighter prefer to fight next? Would you want to get revenge against Bernard Hopkins? Or would you want to get, presumably, the biggest money against Oscar De La Hoya? ¿Con quién que quisiera este boxeador completo pelear esto, próximamente? ¿Quisieras una venganza contra Hopkins o quisieras más dinero pelear con Oscar de la Hoya? Bueno, en realidad, y como le dije, he dicho anteriormente, voy a ir a, a, a reunirme con Don King y le diré qué es lo próximo para mí. El yeah. que venga, yo le voy a ganar. Like I said before, we're going to get together with Don King and whoever it is, we'll let you know. Thank you and congratulations again, Tito. Yeah, he wants to send a message. Quiero enviar un mensaje a toda mi familia allá en Puerto Rico. Family in Puerto Rico. Quiero también enviar un saludo a toda la gente de Florida que están viendo esta pelea, a todos ustedes. Everybody in Florida, they're watching this fight. Y por último, enviarle un saludo a toda mi gente de San Tomas, Ángel. And then all the people in San Tomas. A Roberto y a Julian Jackson. Julian Jackson. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tito. Again. Saludos, Diepa. Saludos, Diepa. También a ti.